In this video, we'll discuss adaptive metrics from Grafana Cloud. One of the biggest challenges observability teams face today is, although they're being asked to store an ever-increasing amount of Prometheus metrics, they're left wondering, how many of these metrics are actually queried? And does this really help us resolve issues faster? And ultimately, is storing all of these metrics really worth the cost? Well, at Grafana Labs, we sought out to answer those questions and find out how we could help. Adaptive Metrics helps you reduce observability costs by optimizing Prometheus cardinality. It helps you identify and eliminate wasteful unused metrics, so you only pay for what you use. Adaptive Metrics leverages a powerful recommendation engine that continually analyzes your usage patterns, looking at your dashboards, alert and recording rules, and 30 days worth of ad hoc query history to generate a set of recommendations. From there, you have the control to choose which rules to apply, aggregating unused labels so only the data you need is persisted. Your dashboards, alerts, recording rules, and queries all continue to work. And of course, Adaptive Metrics continues to analyze your environment and generates new recommendations as your usage patterns change. Adaptive Metrics is available in all Grafana Cloud tiers, and users with admin permissions will find Adaptive Metrics in the menu under Cost Management. Now, let's take a look at some recommendations. In this example, we see that this metric is not being used in any alert or recording rules, but is used in dashboards and ad hoc queries. Adaptive Metrics identifies which labels are needed to power those 20 dashboards and 1,045 queries and shows us which ones can be safely aggregated. This metric is a gauge, so Adaptive Metrics recommend we use the sum aggregation and indicates what impact that'll have on cardinality. This next metric isn't being used in dashboards, alert or recording rules, but has been used in ad hoc queries. Adaptive Metrics understands all queries, including those made via the Grafana UI or API calls. Once again, Adaptive Metrics knows exactly which labels are used in those queries and tells us which ones can be safely aggregated. Adaptive Metrics automatically detects that this metric is a counter and recommends the count and count sum aggregations, which preserve counter reset logic. And here, we can see the impact to cardinality. Next, Adaptive Metrics sees a metric which is not being utilized at all. In this case, it recommends that we aggregate away the high cardinality labels. By eliminating one label, Adaptive Metrics helps us reduce this metric's cardinality by 63%. This helps you significantly reduce cardinality while keeping a low cardinality version of this metric around should you need it later. Now, let's see a before and after of what happens when we aggregate a metric. Here, we see the unaggregated version. We see all of the labels, including those that are not being utilized, and this has over 9,000 time series. When we query the original metric, we see all of the labels that are available, including those high cardinality labels and their associated values. Now, we see a recommendation to aggregate this metric. We'll click Apply Recommendation, and after a few minutes, we can see the aggregation taking effect. Looking at the aggregated metric, we can see that the high cardinality path label has been aggregated, bringing this metric's total time series under 100. And of course, our dashboards, alerts, recording rules, and queries will all continue to work. Now, let's see what happens when we query the aggregated metric. When we look at the aggregated version, we see that this metric is still available, but now the high cardinality path label has been aggregated away. If anyone goes to query this metric later, they'll see exactly which labels have been aggregated and the aggregation can be unapplied should they need that level of dimensionality. Adaptive Metrics understands when your usage patterns change and generates new recommendations. Here, we see a recommendation to unapply a rule. Based on recent queries and dashboards you've tried to create, Adaptive Metrics recognizes that you're trying to use the handler label and recommends that you remove this aggregation. Finally, let's see what recommendations are available across the environment. With Adaptive Metrics, this is as simple as reviewing the recommended rules, selecting the ones you wish to apply, and clicking Apply Selected Recommendations. If you prefer, you can download the latest recommendations and apply them via API. As these aggregations continue to run, we can see their impact on the number of time series. Here we see the time series before applying these aggregations, and after. With Adaptive Metrics, you can reduce your observability costs by optimizing your Prometheus cardinality and expect a reduction between 20 and 50%. Now, you only have to pay for what you use. 
Adaptive Metrics is available on all Grafana Cloud accounts, including the free tier. Get started with Adaptive Metrics today.